last round. Although you had problems with your balance on that last jump. Uh, it's you, Phil. So, what are you doing here? Come to practice for the rally. Oh, well, you're wasting your time. The saddle club's gonna kick Cross County's butt. Not with that balance. <laughs> See ya. We've got to win this rally. If Phil beats us, I'm gonna die. Stevie, you always say that. Yeah, well, this time I mean it. We've got to win tomorrow. And if you do, you be on the cover of Thoroughly Horse. No, you're kidding. I made a proposal to the editor, and they want to feature Pine Hollow in the next edition. And the winner will be on the front cover. Wonderful colour, glossy paper, names in big print this high. <laughs> Veronica will be kicking herself she's on holiday. <gasps> cover of Thoroughly Horse, she'll know. <sighs> yep, you're right. Can you believe it? Just the best horse magazine in the country. Picture this, every rider in the country looking at us, wishing they were us. What's my best profile? More importantly, what are we gonna wear? Hello? Who cares what you look like? Well, you do. Didn't you get a total makeover when you went out with Phil? <laughs> but that was about boys. This is about riding. Seriously, guys, what's my best side? Right or left? What's my best side? My best hair? My best? Huh? I've got something on my face. Is it a hive? That's no hive. It's a pimple. What? I've got a pimple? to meet Drew at 10.30. So let's meet at 10, okay? No, not okay. Here I am with a major disaster on my hands and you two don't even care. <sighs> Stevie, it's just a pimple. How can you say that? What am I going to do? I can't let Phil see me like this. But I thought you didn't care about looks. That was before I had a giant growth on my face. <laughs> I think you're overreacting. It's not like it'll be there forever. But I need it gone by tomorrow. There must be something I can do. Well, there is one thing. Medicine won't work overnight, so try mind over matter. Think the pimple away. Are you kidding? <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but they've done studies on this. Positive thinking works. What? It's not like you've got anything to lose. Okay, what do we do? Start with close your eyes. Now concentrate on positive things. Try to get a mental image in your head. I'm not seeing anything. Think about winning the rally. Picture everyone cheering. Picture someone handing you the trophy. Go on. Um, picture Thoroughly Horse with us on the cover. That's not a good mental image. <laughs> then don't think about that. Think about the blue ribbon on Belle. Think about how good you'll feel. Think about beating Phil. <laughs> okay, I've had just about enough positive thinking for one day. See you guys tomorrow. <sighs> Must be important for Veronica to be sending email while she's on holiday. Chris Bloom? We can't lose. Who's Chris Bloom? He's regional champ. Veronica teed him up because she can't compete herself. Saddle club, eat your heart out. Veronica's pretty smart, isn't she? Mm. Well, when it comes to squishing the saddle club, Veronica doesn't miss a trick. And is that within the rules? Mm-hmm. Veronica's checked. She's always one step ahead. 
Hey, what are you guys doing tomorrow? Why do you ask? Well, I like riding and stuff, but getting the horse and tack ready? Ew. I could make it worth your while. How much worth our while? You're a bit scary sometimes, Melanie. OK. If your team wins, we get mentioned in Thoroughly Horse. What as? Oh, as your managers? <laughs> managers? That's fair. We'll organise everything and you can relax. We're great organisers. I can see that. Thank you. Bye. That was Thoroughly Horse. Not only have we got the cover, we've also got a centre spread. Well done, Deborah. You guys have done excellent work. This is really going to put Pine Hollow on the map. That was Deborah's old journalism contacts that did the trick. <clears throat> and so what did the affiliation say when they heard about our rally tomorrow? Affiliation? I don't think they know, do they? Uh, do they have to know? Every event has to be notified. I'm sorry, I didn't realise. And they need copies of all the entry forms? What entry forms? I'll fix it. I'm looking for a way when I struggle through the day. Oh, so slowly. Nothing going right when I know it should be fine. Oh, yeah. When I'm feeling down, my friends are not around. Have you seen Stevie? No, not yet. Why? She rang you this morning. She's totally freaking out about that pimple. <sighs> Isn't that, you know... Wow, okay. you're Chris Bloom, aren't you? I've read all about you in The Thoroughly Horse. That's me. What are you doing at Pine Hollow? Are you one of the judges for the rally? Not exactly. We'd love to stay and chat, but we have to get Chris prepared. Prepared? Are you giving a demonstration ride? No. Nope. He's riding with Danny and Christy. What? Great team, huh? Danny, Christy and Chris Bloom. And we're managing them. Come on, Chris. Christy's waiting. Well, good luck out there, guys. May the best riders win. We're dead. <sighs> Christy? I'd like to introduce you to Chris Bloom. Hi. Uh, thank you, Veronica. Stevie. Oh, hi, Deborah. What are you doing? Why are you wearing that scarf? Oh. I know this must seem like the end of the world, but trust me, it isn't. Sure. Sometimes in life you get the good, you get the bad. When you get the bad, you've got to concentrate on the good. There isn't much good to concentrate on right now. Maybe you're just not looking hard enough. You have got the most beautiful hair. <laughs> Why don't you concentrate on that? You might just be surprised. <laughs> Beautiful hair, huh? Watch it. You watch it. Ew! What's that on your face? You need to see a doctor. You're just jealous because I've got beautiful hair. Not that anyone can tell under this stupid helmet. There. It's better. Looking for a way to struggle through the day. Let's warm up for the rally bell. Nothing going right when I know it should be.
supposed to wear a helmet. Stevie! Ready for the rally? You bet. I was just, um, giving Bella a run to warm her up. Same here. What's wrong with their chin? Mosquito bite, I think. Hey, where's your helmet? Um... Well, well, well. Riding without a helmet, huh? I wonder what Max would have to say about that. He'd kick you out of Pine Hollow. But I wasn't riding Belle. I was just riding her. Honest. I would never ride without a helmet. What's that on your face? Nothing. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, yeah, very funny. Now it's my turn. Now it's payback time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, no, hey, guys, no. the rally starts in 15 minutes. Oh. Chris was just giving me some last-minute tips on dressage. Dressage? I don't think so. We've got Bark tacked up. He's all set. I'd better saddle my horse. <sighs> we make a great team, Chris. Can you believe it? He's just so cute. Christy, remember what Dorote always used to say? Focus. And remember Red, your number one fave? Don't you think it means something that we've virtually got the same name? Chris and Christy. Yours starts with a K and he starts with a C. <laughs> Nobody likes a smarty pants, Melanie. And his birthday's in April and mine's in August. C, A and A. He's an Aries and I'm not, but we're just meant for each other. Hey, Christy, focus. What do you think Veronica would say if the Saddle Club won and got their faces on the cover of Thoroughly Horse? That would be a bad thing. A very bad thing. Chris is regional champ. How can we lose? Just don't do anything to spoil his focus. Good morning. I'd like to welcome everyone to Pine Hollow for today's rally. But before we start, I'd like to say a special hello to Thoroughly Horse magazine. I'd also like to welcome the regional champion who will be competing with us today, Mr Chris Bloom. OK, the competition begin.
too. We're never gonna beat him. No, I mean, I feel sick. Like I'm gonna puke. What? Do you want some water or something to eat? Please, don't talk about food. You don't have to do this, Stevie, if you're not feeling well. No, I'm okay. It's just a headache now. I'll be fine. You were all over the place, and you almost ran over the judges. I... I didn't see them. Maybe you should get your eyes checked, Stevie. I think you might need glasses. What? One bad round, and now I need glasses. Well, you said it yourself. You didn't even see the judges. What else could it be? My eyesight is fine. Well, you don't just wake up one day and have problems seeing. If your eyesight is so fine, how do you explain what happened? Carol Hanson to the mounting gate. Good round, Carol. Not good enough if Chris gets another perfect score. Jumping is worth 50% of the final score. We are so on that cover. Let's stay nice and calm. Deep breaths, Christy. something bad to tell you. Shh. Chris is in the ring. You are so gorgeous! Way to go, Chris! Way to go! I can't believe it. He blew it. Thank you, Christy. Gosh, that was bad luck, wasn't it? You made him lose focus, Christy. So juvenile. <sighs> This changes everything. If you get a good score, we could win the event or even the rally. So, what did you want to tell us before? Nothing. Stevie. Concussion. Your mother's coming to pick you up. The doctor said that you uh, had a bump on the back of your head. How did you do that? I fell off Bell. But... I wasn't wearing my helmet. Stevie! I know, I know. But I didn't know what to do. I was scared you'd kick me out for riding without a helmet. No one's been kicked out. 
But we will have to have a serious talk about this when you are feeling better. A very serious talk. I thought you knew better. I do. I'll never ride without a helmet again. No, no, that's not what I meant. No matter what happens, Stevie, you can always come to us. That's what we're here for. OK, lecture's over for now. Come on, Deb. We better go and present some trophies. You have some visitors. Are you all right? <sighs> Guys, I'm really sorry. I blew the rally for you. Forget about the rally. We don't care about that. You should have told us what happened. Whatever made you ride without a helmet? You could have really hurt yourself. I know, I know. But I was worried how I looked with that pimple, and well, it's a long story. I think we understand. But Christy's happy, Chris blows his round, and she still wins first prize. Actually, on your chin? No. Phil, how could you get worked up over something so trivial? <laughs> Lisa, you're crying. I know it's Stevie. <laughs> Carol's riding ability, we've got Liam beat. But as I was saying, a gelding has the muscle mass that most mares lack, not to mention the superiority of the male rider. Superiority of the male rider? Give me a break. And here they come! Yeah. Better luck next time, champ. Girls rule. Losing isn't much of a welcome back present, Liam. I'm here for two weeks. I'll beat you from now on. Today was a fluke. I wouldn't exactly call it a fluke. Everyone knows geldings are stronger than mares. I don't know where you've been, but Carol, a girl, riding Belle, a mare, just won. And it isn't the first time. If these horses were out in the wild, it'd be a different story. Just like if we were out in the wild, it'd be a different story. You've always had a problem with reality, Liam. Sorry to disappoint you girls, but it's a known fact that males of all species are tougher than females. Am I right, Phil? Uh... You can't be serious. I am serious. There's no sense in denying a man's hunt to gather a roots. Around the cosy setting of Pine Hollow, things may be equal, but none of you could rough it out in the woods. Is that right? OK. That settles it then. We'll have a camp off. Girls against boys. with the bare necessities. First one to bail for creature comfort loses, and the losing team has to wait hand on foot on the other team for a week. But how can we make sure the boys won't cheat? Each team can keep a video diary of the trip. It'll be Phil, Red, Scooter and me against... Lisa, Carol, me and... Deborah. Deborah. Stevie, listen. May the best team win. What were you thinking? Deborah, as in can't leave home without a pedicure, Deborah? 
she'll be fine. Trust me. Camping? Um, girls, just slow down. <laughs> We've already volunteered you. Please, Deborah. I'm sure Deborah would ordinarily jump at the chance to spend a night in the wilderness, but I really needed to help me man the fort this weekend. Man the fort? Hmm? Oh, excuse me, uh, a woman the fort, whatever the proper term is nowadays. Oh, so funny, Max. I can, you know, answer for myself. Uh, Deb, they did say camping. I've been known to camp. <laughs> What's so funny? The vision of you camping. Hmm. I would love to go. No electricity, <gasps> no pillows, no hot showers, Deb. Just give me five minutes to pack. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be great. Liam, you do realise what you've signed us up for? No worries. Only Red has faced camping conditions like this before. We could save ourselves a lot of grief and humiliation. Gentlemen, I have a plan. Leave it to me. The girls will quit before the night begins. I hope you know where you're all going. The map's clearly marked. I mean, you do know where you're going. Terrain of the legendary Yowie. Don't you mean the mythical Yowie? A huge, ferocious, hairy beast who feeds off the flesh of humans and horses. Nice try. We just thought you should all be aware. I don't know why we just don't have a girls versus boys challenge right here at Pine Hollow. Don't worry, he's just trying to scare us. Deb, Deb, Deb. You look a little nervous. I'm fine. You sure you're up for this? Of course you're sure. Let's hear for girl power. Girl, girl power. power! Girl power! <laughs> We'll show them, girls. We're far superior. Come on, quicker with that tent. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a snap. You sure I can't do anything? Um, we have it under control. Do you want to go see what Stevie's up to? Sure. Hi, Stevie. Is there anything I can do? I think I've got it all under control. You could cook us lunch. All my sausage is coming right up. Here, I'll show you. Take the sausage. And yeah. Throw it through, stick like this. Look, if there's one thing I can do, it's cook a couple of sausages. You know, I don't know what Max was talking about. This camping stuff isn't so bad. <laughs> the boys are going to be so sorry they ever heard of the saddle club. Oh, I agree. <laughs> Do the barbecuing. Mm. Red, can you help me with this? I've never used this type before. Nice one. Perhaps the girls sabotage them. Oh, yeah, the girls. Okay, Ranger Rick, you give it a try. the girls have got their fire started. If they did, it's a fluke. Do you hear that? No, what? I think I hear the sound of a wild beast lurking in the woods. You're making no sense, Scooter. There are no wild beasts in these parts of... Ah, oh, right. Wild beast. The big, ferocious wild beast. Maybe it's a yowie. The wild beast that is so ferocious. It would make anyone quit and go home. I think it's time we went in search of more kindling. Right behind you. It's not fair. I can't believe we have to clean this up all by ourselves. 
definitely not fair. Melanie, Ashley. Sorry to interrupt your chores, but I'd like you to meet one of our new students. This is Nick. Nice to meet you. Same here. Could you guys introduce him to the pony that he'll be riding for the week? No problem. Right. Here she is, good old Penny. Isn't Penny a girl's name? Well, Penny would be a girl. Drew didn't say anything about having to ride a girl pony for the week. Girl ponies are just as good, if not better, than boy ponies. Just the same as how most girls are better than boys. You're right. Let's see about that. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I don't think these mosquitoes have eaten for a month. I second that. They haven't stopped feeding on us since we got here. What's a few mosquito bites when our honour is at stake? That's the attitude, Deborah. That looks nothing like a yowie footprint. Well, have you ever seen the yowie footprint before? It's a lame idea, Scooter. The girls will never fall for something like this. We have no fire in mind. The tent is still not set up. This is our best shot. So where's the kindling? I knew we forgot something. Well, it's not the only thing you forgot. Oh, the tent poles. Unless we take turns acting as tent poles for the night. Is it quitting time yet? Oh, Shall a bit of backbone, Scooter? What if it rains? You guys drag me out here to prove a point. So let's do it. Right, grab your stuff, men. I saw something on the way here. Isn't it great? I don't know, Liam. Sure. A breath of wind would knock it down. Yeah, but it's better than a tent with no poles. Yeah, but canvas doesn't hurt when it falls on you. This would. Does this count as more than the bare necessities? The girls might disqualify us. Liam and I have fixed it, so the girls won't come anywhere near these parts. Besides, it's the survival of the fittest. And I suppose just because we're smart enough to find our own shelter, that doesn't mean we're cheating. Certainly not. Uh, you guys get the fire going. Looks like we need more kindling. Scooter and I'll get right on that. Consider it done. <laughs> Are you sure Deborah's gonna last the night? She didn't look so good. Maybe we should consider going. Absolutely to... not! What happened to the saddle club girl power and fighting for the spirit of womankind? Um, Stevie, what's up? Big animal footprints is what's up. Those aren't just animal footprints. You're right. Uh oh. What do you mean, Aunt Lou? Are those the prints of the Yowie? Oh, no! And what have we here? Oh, look! He's put his boots on. The boys strike again. shovels the most manure in two minutes wins. You know it was a man who developed the art of poop scooping. Why does that not surprise me? Ready? Ready. On your mark. Get set. <laughs>
time. Shuffle. Sing it with me again. <laughs> One more. Shuffle. Aha, victory is mine. <laughs> Sorry, Melanie. Looks like Nick won this one hands down. Told you so. <laughs> what? Thanks for finishing off all our chores. Men sure are born to scoop the poop, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Penny. Don't worry, Dime. This is war. <sighs> what happened? There's a wild beast out there, and I know it. There's no such thing as the Yowie. It doesn't matter. There is something out there, and I'm sure of it. I quit. But we'll lose. You can't just quit. Just watch me. Oh. If you give up, we'll all have to give up. There's nothing in there, Deborah. I'd rather be torn apart by wild animals than lose to Phil. Not that there are any wild animals in these parts. You know, the first four words out of Max's mouth will be, I told you so. They would be, wouldn't they? Definitely. <laughs> Liam and Scooter trying to get us to quit is what's going on. <sighs> Girls, it's time to put a stop to this. The petrified look on Deborah's face was priceless. Any second now, the girls will quit. And we'll be back at Pine Hollow with our feet up, channel surfing, whilst they're serving us hot chocolate and pizza. Oh, yeah. Nice work, Scooter. This EA print looks much more lifelike. I didn't make these prints. Then who did? Probably the girls. Oh, of course, it's the girls. Bound to be. What else could it be? Okay, boys. Enough's enough. I don't get it. Why would the boys desert camp? Unless something's happened. We should look for them. I'll try and get the fire started. I think I've only got one match left in my pack. Seems pretty fast. Don't worry. I've got it all under control. What are you doing? That girl's not gonna fit dime. That's the whole point, genius. All's fair in love and war. And this is war, right? Yes. This is the deciding match. First person to tack up their horse wins the girls versus boys championship. Hope you can tack up as fast as you can scoop poop. Funny. Riders ready? On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> What's the matter, boy? We can be sweet, we can be rats. Sometimes we fight like sisters, then make hey, us not like bad. <laughs> we can do anything that we <sighs> girls can do. Yeah, we're gonna show you. Your girls is too big.
no. Let's keep it tight. We always end up trapped. Yes, Dan! Yeah! Hi, Wolf Dan! Dan, boy. We always end up Help! I'm losing circulation in my leg. We'll have to hold the debris off him. I can't move it. Let's get some rope. Bell's strong enough to pull this stuff off. You'll be all right. Hang in there, Liam. We're going to get you out. We, we can't just pull it off. We have to lift it. Otherwise, it could hurt his leg. We can pull the rope over the branch and lift the beam off. Keep going. Uh, come on, Liam. Come on, Belle. There's two apples and three carrots for you tonight. Just a bit more. Really, there? Guys, we did it without you. Girl power got him out. And some horsepower. Correction, mare power. <laughs> hey, girl. You know this whole boys versus girls competition was all in good fun? You're a good sport. I'm sorry I didn't want to ride you in the first place. I owe you an apology too. It was a dirty trick to switch the saddle. You and Dan deserve to win. Sorry, chap. Looks like Diamond Petty have made up. Truce? Truce. Truce. One. <laughs> you couldn't even get the fire oh, started. Yeah, okay, Ranger Rick, you give it a try. Wait, what's Liam doing? Is that what I think it is? A bar of chocolate? It, it was an old chocolate bar. I, I found it in my pocket. It was it was old, mouldy. It was gross. I, I threw out the other half. You didn't have to eat any of it. And eating chocolate definitely counts as a creature comfort. The girls win. I think we'll start with a large pizza with everything on it. And I'm sure you boys won't mind if you give us a week's worth of manicures. We are girls, after all. Nice going, Liam. And we're sorry for lying about the whole yowie thing. I mean, Scooter and I shouldn't have faked those footprints. We never believed it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You believed it. Uh, no. You didn't believe it? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's why you had that story. Oh, sure, you didn't believe it. Yeah. No, that's all. No, we're not serious. Why would we believe that? On behalf of everyone from the Jarvis School for the Blind and Vision Impaired, I'd like to thank you for letting us come and visit Pine Hollow. Right, kids? Well, you're in for a treat. Some of my students would like to introduce their horses to you. Hi, I'm Stevie. This is Belle. Hi there, this is Dan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa. And this is Eddie. What's your name? I'm Mary. She's black. Okay. Come on. Hi, I'm 
Lisa. Ang Jenna. Don't worry, I didn't forget to introduce you. Jenna, meet Eddie. It's okay, you can pet him. I don't know. Does he bite? <laughs> Eddie wouldn't hurt a fly. You can feed him right out of your hand. Really? Here, I'll show you. Just hold out your hand. Are you sure he won't bite me? Trust me. <laughs> That's so cool. It kind of tickles. <laughs> Jenna? Jenna, are you all right? Did he bite you? No, Mum, I'm fine. Really. Let me see your hand, honey. I wish parents wouldn't do that. Teach their kids to be fearful. Gemma's been doing so well, and then Beth comes along and spoils things. Can't tell you how long it took us to talk her into letting Gemma come here. It's okay. Um, she was just feeding Eddie. He didn't hurt her, honest. Oh, you're right. She's fine. This time. Come, come on, sweetheart. Let's join the rest of the group. It's okay. I've got you. What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. She was really getting along with Eddie. Hmm? Now look at her. Watch out. Be careful around these animals. Looks like she's afraid of horses. No wonder. Looks like her mother's afraid of everything. Never seen a horse. You could still touch them and hear them, probably better than we can. I read that sometimes when you lose one of your senses, your other ones become stronger. Gina, it's your turn. Mm, mm, may maybe later. We've got to help her enjoy riding. I've got an idea. Hi, Jenna. These are my best friends. Stevie. Hey. And Carol. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Starlight. He's really friendly. Most horses are. They love being around people. <laughs> What's he doing? It's only a nibble. It's his way of saying hi. Your teacher's letting other students ride. I'd like to try, but my mum says it's dangerous. It's in the ring. It's totally safe. Your mom's scared she'll get hurt, but that's not going to happen. Trust me. She's only trying to protect me. Of course she is. When I first came to Pine Hollow, my mom was worried too. She was? Yeah. She's great, but sometimes she makes all these decisions for me without asking what I want. I know what you mean. He really likes you. I'd really love to learn to ride. Maybe on Eddie? Okay, listen up. It's almost time to go. So everyone gather their belongings and meet in the lounge. Come on, we'll show you. Liam, have you met Jenna? No, I don't think so, but I'm glad I have now. Hi, Liam. Bring Jenna back to the lounge when you've said hello. So, uh, when did you start riding here, Jenna? I'm just here for the day, with my class. Oh, you mean the, um, the class from the school for the, um... For the blind. I didn't realise that, that you were, um... Were what? You know. I'm no different from any other girls, Liam. 
Oh no! I've missed out. What's wrong? Thoroughly horse are looking for models for next month's big feature. Right. Well, I would have been selected, I just know. Well, it's not too late, is it? Well, how can I line up a photographer and everything in 24 hours? Well, I got an A plus for my photography assignment in media studies. And Deborah's got that amazing new camera. And I'm free. Would you guys help me? Well, we couldn't do it for nothing. We'd have to cover our time and stuff. Let's say five dollars. Great. An hour each. Shop around. You won't find anything better. I found up at the gate. Thanks, Red. I'll see you later. Jenna, what are you doing here? Where's your mum? Actually, she doesn't know I'm here. She thinks I'm at the school library. Then how did you get here? I took a bus. Mum doesn't like me doing that by myself, but I just decided I wasn't going to let anything keep me from seeing you guys again. Or Eddie. I think that's horse for take me for a ride. Want me to show you how to tack him up? Definitely. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Jenna, I'm glad to see your mother agreed to let you visit again. It looks like Eddie has a crush on her. He hasn't stopped licking Jenna's hands since she got here. Well, enjoy yourself, Jenna. I'll see you. Thanks. I didn't know what to say, but won't you get in trouble for lying to Max? I didn't really lie to him. I mean, all I said was that Eddie loves you, which is true. Come on, let's go get Eddie's tack. <laughs> From the look in your face, it's so you pretty much hate riding, right? <laughs> it's so cool. I knew you'd like it once you got the hang of it. Horses are so amazing. I don't understand why everybody doesn't ride. You don't know what this is like for me. When I'm walking, I never know for sure what's in front of me. There's always a chance I'm going to trip or bump into something. But when I'm riding, it's like Eddie is seeing for me. What do you mean? I don't have to worry about tripping over something because Eddie sees and moves around it for me. It's like, for the first time, I can move with complete freedom. Can I take one more turn around the ring? By myself? Sure, why not? Taken it yet? Christy, don't talk. But what are you doing? You're gonna have to give me a bit more expression. Can't I just be myself? Fred, that's not enough. You're such a pain, Melanie. We need more spark. Now I'm not sure this colour suits you either. This is my favourite. I know. Red. Red makes me look fat. No. Red. Red will give you spark. Hello, Mrs Elliot. It's Max Regnery from Pine Hollow. Very well, thanks. Look, after seeing Jenna ride again today, I'd like to suggest enrolling her in a, a... I was under the impression that she had your permission. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I see. Well, look, she's here now, and, and I assure you, she's just fine. In fact, uh, no, 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 of course not. I, no, I understand. I'm like, yeah, goodbye. Hi, Red. Oh, g'day, Ash. 
Red, have you ever done any modelling before? Yeah, I've built a lot of models when I was a kid. No, fashion modelling. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No, you've got the looks. You'd be great. Well, maybe one day I'll pretty myself up and, you know, walk funny. <laughs> what about today? <laughs> I'm working. What about lunchtime? adults at 12 o'clock. You have a lot of explaining to do. What is Jenna doing on that horse? I told her she wasn't ready to ride yet. She wanted to learn, and we've been supervising her the whole time. Supervising? Well, you're only children yourselves. <laughs> Jenna's really good, Mrs. Elliot. Watch her. Jenna, please, get off me. <laughs> encouraged Jenna to do such a dangerous thing. I told you she wasn't ready to ride. It was my fault. I was having so much fun I wasn't concentrating. I'll do better next time. Oh, next time, sweetheart. Riding is just too dangerous for you. You three in my office now, please. Feel it. Look, sweetheart, you wait here. I'm going to get something from the car. Mum, stop making such a fuss. I'm making a fuss because it's it's wrong for people to tell you you can ride when you can't. Oh, Mum, I can ride a horse. I'll show you. Hi, Jenna. Do you want a hand with anything? I was just trying to get in some practice. Do you want to go on a hack? Sure, but... Please, Liam, I hate being treated differently to other girls. OK, I'll go get Comanche. Yeah! Hey, boy, I got a crush on you. Hey, boy, you know it's true. You may not read about it I believe that I just can't doubt it You may not really believe it I do cause my eyes have seen it Hey boy, it's true I got a crush on you 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 I got a crush on this you This is great, real spark <laughs> You're a natural, Red <laughs> That's excellent, can we go again? So I put my boots back on? Yep Why are we doing it again? Well, I think we could put a bit more fun into it Isn't this great, Red? What do you think? You think? Definitely <laughs> well, it's like yeah, we're living in a magazine Oh, I've got to go and shovel manure in about five minutes. OK, give me laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't intend to let this matter rest here. Please, sit down. This is a total lack of proper supervision. Beth, sit down. I just hope you realise that this is about a lot more than... I know what this is about. It's about you. It's about you and horses, isn't it? What happened, Beth? I... I had a very bad fall when I was in my 20s. Well, I've had a very bad fall too. But those forms are our problem for us to deal with. We shouldn't put our fear on others. Jenna? 
Jenna! Jenna! You girls check the tech room. Eddie's gone. So is Comanche. Deb, who took Comanche out? Oh, Liam. He went out for a hack with the uh, new girl. Liam must have taken Jenna with him. Well, what are we going to do? Don't worry, we'll find her. I'm coming with you. I think it's better if you stay here. Uh... It's my daughter out there. OK, you take Bark. Now, Stevie and Carol, you head over this spur. Lisa, you and Beth, scout Miner's Valley. I'll get the first aid kit and ride towards Cloudy Peak. Jenna! Jenna! Oh, what are we going to do? Don't worry, Mrs Elliot. Jenna is a natural rider. If anything happens to her, I'll never forgive myself. Look! Jenna, over here! Hi there, Lisa. You wait there, honey. We'll come and get you. Come on. Come on, you stupid. Oh! 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 Lisa, what's going on? Mark got spooked. She's taken off with your mum. Liam, can you ride towards Cloudy Peak and get Max and take Eddie? Eddie, why? Because Jenna's going to ride on Prance with me. Sure, I don't hear a thing. Please, Lisa, you've got to trust me. Okay. I hear her. She's straight ahead. Now where? Turn right. Hurry. Hold on. Dressing on it. Thank you, Lisa. I didn't think anyone would hear me calling out. Actually, I didn't hear. Jenna did. She let us write to you. You found me. <clears throat> I can do a lot of things if you'll let me. And the horse, when I fell off, he came over to me. He stayed with me the whole time. We told you, you can always trust your horse. waited to see their reaction. So, what did they say? What did they think of my modelling? They were very impressed. So are they going to call me in? Well, they're, um... They chose red. They've already got a girl, they just needed a guy. But they've put you on their file. Would I have to wear makeup? All models wear makeup. I'd rather shovel manure. 
I get the feeling you want to say something to me, but you stop yourself. How do you know that? I can sense it. It's just, well, I always seem to say the wrong things around you. But not saying anything makes me think you don't like me. Not like you? The first time I met you, I wanted to ask you out. Yes. Yes, you'll go out with me? Yes. Really? That, that's great. Maybe we could go get something to eat and go see a movie. See, oh, I did it again. No, you didn't. I go to movies all the time. I love listening to the stories. You do? Yeah. I'll tell you what, you pick the movie and we'll not watch it together. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Are you ready? Totally. Jenna, are you going for a hack? You said I could. Remember? Yes. I remember. Do you want to come along too, Mrs. Elliot? No. I don't think Jenna wants her mum tagging along. I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to run a few errands and I'll see you at home. So don't be late for dinner. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. Anybody cared. Okay, everybody, listen up. This Saturday is the 20th anniversary of the Pine Hollow Riding School. To mark this magnificent, marvelous milestone, that is going to be a dance. And everybody is welcome, so come one, come all. I wonder who that new boy over there is going with. Shane? You know him? He sits behind me in history. I could talk to him if you like. Really? You're all right. You've got Phil. You never have trouble getting a partner, Carol. I'll just hand around the supper. <sighs> what the? Uh. Sorry, I'm just cleaning out Bert's stall. <sighs> oh, look, he got it all over you. Could you please look before you shovel? <sighs> it's okay. Please stop. Do we know you? Uh, I'm David. I'm here with my friend. Shane, while our riding school gets new stables, I better get some water. A lot of water. How long is that guy going to stay?
likes you. Uh, I think you could ask her to the dance, maybe. What do you think? Yeah, she'd probably want to go with you. Come on. Trust me. <laughs> Dance with anyone? Uh, the dance? No, I don't think so. We should hook up. Okay. I mean, sure. Cool. <laughs> Megan's feet haven't touched the ground since you set her up with Shane. I had no idea you were a matchmaking queen. I prefer a goddess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about your jacket. That's okay. Really. I can buy you another one. A nice one? That was a nice one. Yeah, I know, but I meant, like... Just don't worry about it. She doesn't, at least will get over it. She's really nice. I have a habit of putting my foot in it. <sighs> I know how you can make it up to her. How? Ask her to the dance. Oh, like I don't get enough rejection as it is. I'm serious. But won't that be hard since she's not even talking to me? Trust me, I am the matchmaking goddess. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask Lisa to the dance, there are a couple things we need to work on. From a caterpillar to a butterfly, I want to put that sparkle in your eye. You don't know if you don't oh. try, so come with me. Like Cinderella going to the ball. I don't see why you can't have it all. I'll catch you if you fall, just come with me. I'll make you a perfect boy, she'll see. You're everything a girl could want. into any of the Pine Hollow guys. Have you checked out those two new guys? Oh, please. They're both so... Ugh. No. No way. If it weren't for Red, there'd be no decent guys in the horse world. But you're not going with Red. Who says? Well, if he liked you, he would have asked you out by now. Not necessarily. Some guys just need a little motivation. Going to the dance? I don't know. I guess so. Sounds like everybody's going with someone. Even Megan's got a date. Little Megan? That's great. Yeah, kids. Anyway, I've got to find a date now. I'm sure you won't have any trouble. That's so sweet. But I don't want to go with a total stranger. I want to go with a friend. You know, someone I know really well and see almost every day. Uh huh. such a bully sometimes. Nah, it's Bert's fault. He's just trying too hard to make friends. Yeah. He needs to relax. Keep it cool. Let the other horses see what a great guy he is. 
<laughs> oh, sorry. Geeky laugh. You want to go to JB's? What happened? New kid's having a hard time fitting in. Oh, is he OK? Yeah, just a little bruise. <laughs> oh, hey, Lisa, could I ask you something? Sure. Oh, phew. I was wondering. Wow. She should change her tune. Yeah. Can't blame her. They're not for me. Dear Christy, these flowers aren't half as beautiful as you. Please be my date for the dance. Love, Jared. Oh, that Jared. <laughs> he just won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Sounds like this guy's hooked. Oh, he's a great guy. Really mature and sensitive and hot. <laughs> yeah. So, looks like you've got your date for the dance. No, 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 no. What was that? Guys like a challenge. If Fred thinks he has a bit of competition... <laughs> Who's Jared? There is no Jared. I made him up to make Red jealous. If Red was going to ask me out, you totally blew it. He thinks I'm going out with Jared. <sighs> exactly. Now Red has to win you back. Are you sure about this? <sighs> hey, stop at JB's after. I'll explain how a man's mind works. Once I'm not the clumsy one. Sorry. Hey, you were so right about the hat. Actually, I kind of like the hat. You're going to the dance, right? You ready? Yeah. Where are you going? We're putting a martingale on Bert. Might help with the control. Good idea. You're the best. <sighs> okay. So here's the real deal on guys. They're just a big mess of basic instincts. Right. Like male rivalry. That's what I've been using to get Red to ask you to the dance. Have you read all about this? It's just experience. Who with? You haven't got a boyfriend, have you? Yeah, Christy, be quiet and listen. Sorry. Right. So all you've got to do with boys is learn which buttons to push. Just like a jukebox. Got to get something to write with. I don't want to forget anything. That's a load of rubbish, Veronica. <laughs> I'm sorry, were you talking to me? Unless there's another Veronica at the bar. Guys and girls are basically the same underneath. You obviously haven't been out on many dates. Do we have to make a date to understand each other now? Trust me, it would help if you had a girlfriend. I know it's hard for a guy who wears an apron. <laughs> Sorry, Veronica. That's OK. The staff have been amusing me. OK, so guys are like jukeboxes. Right. Would you like to go to the dance with me, Veronica? Do yourself a favour, Scooter. Join a library. You're amazing, Carol. I have no idea how you did it, but you've turned David into serious boyfriend material. You had a good time? You were right. He's so funny. And he's really sweet. He asked me to the dance. Did you let him down easy? I thought you wanted me to say yes. Great. Is something wrong? No. Are you sure? You just put your boots on the wrong feet. <laughs> Jared just won't give up. He keeps calling and writing me little emails. So what's the problem? It's just there's this other guy. Has this other guy asked you out yet? No. So you go to the dance with Jared. But what about the guy Don't that... wait around for some guy who's not smart enough to ask you out. You deserve better. Phil's 
been taking dance lessons. Hip hop, I'm very afraid. I never thought I'd be going to the dance with David. You really like him? He's trying so hard that it's kind of growing on me. You are so full of yourself. He wouldn't have even looked at you if it weren't for me. What's sex supposed to mean? He only likes you because I told him to. Now who's full of herself? I was friends with him first. You weren't even talking to him. You were the one who set me up with him. But you don't even like him. You like him. What are you talking about? She does. Why didn't you say something? I didn't even know until... Until you saw him with me. Yeah. Well, I like him too. But you just said you didn't. I never said that. Guys, let's let David decide. Well, anyhow, guys, let's get out there and do some more team riding. Guys, hello. I don't want to do it with Carol like this. Well, can't do team riding with two. Try it with one. What was that? I never would have thought you and Carol would let some stupid fight stop us riding. Sorry. You never even liked David until Carol talked you into it. But she did, and now I like him. What about Carol? She was friends with him first. He's my date for the dance. I can't just go alone. Having a date for the dance, is that worth losing your best friend over? You and Lisa have been through way too much to let some guy I have get... a problem with Lisa. Right. You just want her to stop hanging out with David. Yeah. She wouldn't even have liked him if you didn't talk her into it. I know. That's why she should quit being so stubborn. Right. Not like you. Calm. Reasonable. Deborah's really looking forward to seeing Paris. Really? It'll be good to have some company on the long flight. I feel bad about leaving you to it again, Drew. Hey, I'm managing, aren't I? Better than managing, the place is humming. Hey, um, what about that loan issue with the bank? I'll try and give Bill Roth a call before I go. So, Max, you want me to organise any farewell for you at all? No, 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 no. Deborah will start crying and it'll all get very emotional and I will just slip away. And we'll be back before New Year anyway. You won't recognise the place. Hey. I'm just kidding. Red here. They probably didn't want to see me with my perfect new boyfriend. Uh, I was trying to help you. Well, maybe you should have stayed out of it. He was never going to ask you. when it's just the saddle club. At least you have a date. Yeah. Have you seen him dance? <laughs> he looks like a rubber chicken. <sighs> Was it worth it? No. So go tell her. I'm just gonna go. No way. You are not leaving me here with a rubber man. Carol, save me dance, okay? Actually, I was just gonna go. No, we just got here. Not really in party mood. Can I talk to you for a second, Lisa? I'll go and get some punch. Carol, I feel Don't. Awful. It's all my fault. No, I'm sorry for being all weird and competitive. Since when does a guy matter more than Saddle Club? He is a great guy. I should have clued in that you liked him. How could you? I didn't even know. <laughs> so what do we do now? I'm over him. Seriously. I'm cool just being his friend. Thanks. Thanks. 
So, who's gonna make me look good on the dance floor? You go, Lisa. I'll see you later. Go. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. You're my next victim. Does Carol seem kind of down? We were meant to do some team riding, but we had an argument. What over? Um, this and that. Get over it. She's such a good rider. She belongs in the saddle. But it's more than that. It's like she's fearless. I've never met anyone like her. You know all that makeover stuff you did with Carol? Your hair, clothes? I laugh. Carol wouldn't have changed anything about you. It was all for me. I guess. I'll be right back. Can I borrow her for a second? Sure. Is it me? Or is my boyfriend really embarrassing? I figured it out. David never liked me. He only went along with it because of Carol. Congratulations, Sherlock. That's what I've been trying to tell you all along. We have to get them together. Oh no, I'm staying out of this matchmaking game. Come on, Stevie. They totally belong together. Let them figure it out. If you'd rather stay here and watch Phil dance... I'm in. Hey, where did you go? I was the only guy slow dancing by myself. Sorry, I was talking to Max. He says you should go check on Bert. What's wrong? I didn't ask. Max says he wants to talk to you in his office. Now? to get two dates. Veronica, say hello to Jay and Imogen. They work in the library. Lisa said Max wanted me to come and check on Bert. Looks like I'm not the only matchmaker around here. That's weird. How did they... Know that I liked you? I was going to say, how did they know things weren't working out between me and Lisa? But I like what you said better. You and Lisa? All we ever talk about is you. You never like Lisa. Then how come you asked her to the dance? Because you were so excited about the whole makeover thing. And I just wanted to hang out with you. Really? I don't think you're very good at matchmaking. Me neither. <laughs> 